choices from uh, the younger youth. He also mentions enlisting in the enlisting to serve your country. I feel that consuming a substance is far more different from signing a legal document. It's simply not in the best interest of, our, of public safety. A lot of, a lot of our underage drinkers are a danger to themselves while under intoxication. As my partner mentioned earlier, we tried to lower the, the, lower the drinking limits before. The drinking age was first lowered to 18 many states before, during the Vietnam era. The country was asking thousands of young men to fight for the country on foreign soil, but now allowing them to partake on the drink. <clears throat> How can we ask them to die for our country and not let them have a drink? But lowering the drinking age begins to take a toll on the, nation's, on the nation's highways, not the battlefields. The number of alcohol-related traffic fatalities began to rise at an alarming rate. And a high percentage of those involve young drivers. Congress, again, put pressures on the states to raise the drinking age because of the startling increase in highway fatalities. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration states raising the drinking age to 21 has reduced fatalities involving 18 and 20 year old drivers. By 13% has saved an estimated 19,121 lives from 1975 to 2009. Studies conducted between 1981 and 92 reported significant decreases in traffic crashes and crash fatalities following an increase in the drinking age limit. The significance, a higher drinking age simply saves lives. Over 40% of all 16 to 20 year olds who died in 1994 killed in car crashes, of which were alcohol related. The number of intoxicated youth drivers and fatal crashes dropped 14.3% in 83 to 94. The largest increase, decrease of any group during this time period, indicating that the higher like, legal drinking age simply saves lives 